Chris, thanks for the update. We sure hope to see those boats full soon. It is such a Cincinnati tradition around here. Yeah, holiday weekend, of course. Yeah. This is a Friday. This is a planning day. We bring in our chief meteorologist, Kevin Robinson. They're planning around what you were saying right now, the pockets of rain and when they can do outdoor things. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting to hear the story there about the river boats because Allison did a story just yesterday on the fact that the Ohio River was cresting so late in the season. Typically this time of the year, you know, the river's at its standard level so somewhere around 35, 36 feet, but it's getting closer to 50. It's not going to flood, so they don't have to worry about that, and it's going to fall, but interesting to have that high. Now, in respects to rain chances this weekend, there will continue to be some around. It's not going to rain the entire weekend. In fact, I want you to start thinking more summer-like than anything else, because that means you'll have extended periods of dry weather, followed by loud booms and clashes of thunder in the afternoon and evening. So here's a look at the radar right now. Pretty quiet along the 71. 175 corridor. There are a few showers east of Cincinnati this afternoon. You can see a few of them out towards Hillsboro. You've had one locally heavy downpour basically just kind of roam its way right over or just south of Maysville, Kentucky. This should be ending here in the next five to 10 minutes. And then we've got additional hit and miss downpours out here on 50 towards Rainsboro there to the east of Hillsboro. So here's a look at the weather map tonight. We've got pretty nice weather here in the Ohio Valley. We are situated between two weather features. One is the one behind me. This is the storm center. See that spin up there in Northeast Ohio? The one that's been plaguing our area for the better part of a week now. But then at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on a warm front that's triggering showers and storms in the Tennessee Valley tonight that will lift up towards the Ohio River. It may feel a little muggy out there right now, but it's not bad. Look at our dew points in the 50s, but see these dew points lurking in southern Kentucky back towards Illinois and Missouri. That's indicative of that warm front and tomorrow muggier air surges in and I think that's going to fuel a pretty decent coverage of showers and storms during the second half of the day in the afternoon into the evening. So for the most part, the majority of us are dry this evening. Again, most areas remain rain free. Pretty quiet overnight tonight. I think we start our Saturday on the dry note with clouds similar to today. But then as we get into Saturday evening, look what happens. Noon, one, two, three, we're still pretty quiet. Some warm sunshine begins to develop, but then look what happens in the afternoon and evening. A cluster of showers and storms comes roaming through. By eight or nine, those are out of here. So again, you've got plenty of dry time throughout the day before any rain chances ramp up. We're quiet Saturday night, and then essentially on Sunday, I think we go back to some hit and miss storms, slightly lower coverage. So here's your Memorial Day weekend forecast. Around 80 tomorrow with thunderstorms likely in the evening a little more hit and miss on Sunday. I think more of us stay dry and then a better coverage on Monday for Memorial Day. But you get the theme, right? It's going to be warm and very summer like 75 outside right now. Temperatures generally in the mid 70s for most of us, given the fact we haven't had much rain today. So your forecast looks like this tonight 55 for an overnight low. There could be some low clouds or fog late. Morning fog and clouds, afternoon sun, followed by early evening storms tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast. And Mike and Shuri, again, there will be extended times of dry weather, but a very summer like weather pattern. It seems like we've jumped seasons. We went from our winter and spring to all of a sudden summer and spring now heading into the holiday and next week. All right, Kevin, hopefully.